hey guys welcome back to my channel today i wanted to specifically address the john cuckian fans the ones that are still supporting him the ones that are still believing all of this bullshit. and i apologize if you hear my dog barking there's a bunch of fire trucks and stuff going on i have him in the other room but he is a loud one so i apologize um so we know that John started his first attack last Christmas, his second attack this past Christmas, almost to the date, the day, you know, and his third attack a few days ago. And it came to my attention that maybe I was a little bit harsh in my last video by calling all John Cuckian fans and supporters delusional morons and part of the problem. I had a Twitter conversation where I called a girl a moron because she had posted about believing the stuff that John had said. And I guess I was attacking her personally. So I just kind of wanted to explain where I was coming from and sort of, you know, reflect on some things that were in John's last video. So in his last video, I feel like you got all of the evidence that you needed to know that he was lying. So to me, if somebody, somebody watches that video and they don't just blatantly see all of this evidence and they are told to look at it and they still do and they choose not to believe it, they, they choose to remain ignorant because they're blindly following this guy, I think that you're delusional and a moron. So I stick by what I said, but this is why I said it. So in this last video, he claims that he has these personal, you know, messages from Peter that are sexual in nature. What's interesting is that he has been saying that Peter has harassed him for more than a year. So he shows like a message that first of all, he says is old, you know, that he hasn't had any kind of contact with Peter. And he says that it was an old message, but when you look at it, you can see a time. We all know across all platforms, text messages, emails, uh, Instagram DMs, everything, that if a message is old, there is a date on it. But this one just so happened to not have a date on it. And the, the way that it made Peter sound, you know, he would never talk like that. And he's a happily married man. So that right there is proof. We know that old messages have a date. And he's never been to explain, he never did explain why, you know, when asked. Because people would just get blocked. And that's an interesting thing because his own fans are starting to be like, well, wait a minute. You know, they're putting things together and they're like, oh, well, I'm a fan of his, so I'm just going to ask him. And then they're getting deleted. Then he claims, oh, who are these people that say that I'm blocking them or deleting their comments? Oh, that's not happening. We know it is. We see the screenshots. Please. So also in that video, you know, when he mentions that he has been harassed for all this time, People also questioned that because they said, well, where were these messages of him harassing you, bullying you? And he said that he never said that it was through messages, like private DMs, and implied that it was because of all the videos, thousands, thousands of videos that Peter has made on, on him. No, 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 honey. Peter hadn't made a video in more than a year. He may have, like, you know, mentioned him but never said his name and it wasn't anything even close to harassment. He never made a video until John's scam of a cosmetics line came out. And because it was the hot topic in the drama community, so of course he was going to do a video on it. And I'm sure that's what prompted John to do this again because... You know, Peter has a pretty good reach of people now, and I think that he made some really great points. So nowhere in there does he say what kind of harassment then, because Peter does not have over a thousand videos on you, John. I'm sure you have around that many on Jeffree Star, but what's interesting is he always say, oh, we are not a hate channel. We just come here and we like to chit chat and blah, blah, blah. No, you are the most disgusting person on YouTube next to like Logan Paul. 
you are a hate channel. You talk about people's looks. You call people nicknames like here for the cheesecake and Voldemort. And you talk about people having herpes, going to STI clinics, all this craziness. Is that just talking about like lighthearted gossip and kind of throwing shade? No, that is fucked up. That is hateful. And he's been doing this for so long that I don't know why he keeps growing. I'm like, what is happening? Like, why are all these people like still into like this dude, you know, it, it's just so clear to me. So that's why I call people delusional. I also feel like his excuse for not going to the authorities with this information was bullshit, saying that he wasn't going to do that because he had a personal bad experience of them like really not doing anything and what context we don't know he didn't elaborate on his personal experience with the authorities and they them not taking things like this seriously but i can tell you something uh the authorities don't fuck around with shit when it comes to children there are people that could just like spank their kid and get accused of child abuse so surely everybody was like, that's not a good excuse because, you know, absolutely they would look into this. And he basically said, well, I put the information out there and you guys can do whatever you want with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like we're going to call the authorities on all of your bullshit with no evidence with even people that are mandated reporters were getting a hold of him saying, well, give me some more information because like I have to report this and they would get blocked or he would just ignore them. So why? Why even say anything about this at all? Why? A pedophile is a person that is sexually attracted to children. It is not an insult like you're a fucking bitch or you're a moron it is something that is a serious accusation and can ruin somebody's life why put that out there if you weren't going to do anything with it anyway if you felt the need that it needed to get out there and it had to be put out there and i just had to talk about this and oh my god it makes me so nervous no there is no truth to it that's why he doesn't care. That's why he didn't go to the authorities. And it is so clear to so many of us that when people don't believe it, I just immediately call them a moron because he cannot explain away all of the the questions that we have. And it's just, it's just so obvious to me. And I know that being a fan of John Cuckian doesn't automatically make you a shit person. And me being a fan of Peter, and if you don't like Peter, doesn't make me a shit person. And I realize that as fans of either one of them, or in some cases both of them, I don't know if those people exist, we shouldn't be going at it with each other. And I agree with that to a certain extent. If this was a drama of, I don't know, something really petty, like a, a content issue or... Um, you know, just buying dislikes on Peter's videos because that's definitely happening and there is concrete evidence of that as well. If it was just something like that and the seriousness of the pedophile accusation was off the table, I could see, you know, how people should just let shit go. But in this case, in this instant, when it is something so serious and so important, if I see somebody that is believing this bullshit, I can't help but say you're stupid. Now, I would like to go about that a little bit differently and just be like, hey, have you looked at this? How, did you realize this? Have you seen this video or did you see these receipts? Whatever it may be. And if they come back and they're still like, oh, whatever, then they just choose not to believe the truth. And that's the funny thing, because then that's just your opinion on something. And opinions and facts are very different things. You can have an opinion about whatever you want. You can read a fact and choose not to believe it, but it doesn't make it not a fact anymore. And that's like part of the problem because it's just so clear and it's right out there in front of your face. And the way that John is even treating his friend or his fans is just kind of ridiculous by either blocking them or not answering them or putting it on you guys. 
So you guys are supposed to be responsible for reporting what to the authorities? What? A, a falsified message that, if real, would not be a pedophilia, by the way, because John is not a child. If, if it were even true, which it is not, let me make that clear. But that is not illegal. So we have nothing else but old photos of people that are now dead that were cool skateboarders and surfers and shit. I mean, give me a break. Like, you guys have got to wake the fuck up. Please, please. You have to see how much damage this is doing. And we're seeing it now with Shane Dawson. I mean, why people are throwing out pedophile like it's just a regular insult. I don't understand. It is so serious. It is so sick. It's so disgusting. And it's like nobody gives a shit. And if you watch Shane's video, I mean, it was absolutely heart breaking to see a man being accused of this and it was heartbreaking when it was happening to Peter and it's not okay and so although we shouldn't fight being fans I'm gonna fight you I'm gonna fight you with words with facts because you need to realize what's really going on because he has you fucking fold I'm sorry I will try to refrain from calling people names like moron I'll try to go about it in a better way, but I'm still going to go about it because this bullshit has to fucking stop. It's not okay. It's not okay that John's video is still up. It's not okay that he still has a fucking channel. It's not okay no matter how many times we report it. It doesn't matter. I don't know what is happening. I mean, fuck YouTube because they suck. I mean, look at Logan Paul's whole situation, how long it took them to respond and even have the uh, even have the balls to say that they handled the situation perfectly fine which they did not so maybe eventually youtube will get to it i don't know but i have seen people flag for like copyright stuff and it happens like that so if you are on there you're literally defaming somebody it is character assassination it is character assassination because you are ruining this man's good name and you have no proof so when he says he's being accused of that, look at what Peter is being accused of. Look at what people on social media just in general are being accused of. And hopefully when this goes to court, hopefully it does. And hopefully everybody will, you know, realize what the truth is. So although I'm sorry that I can come off like a blunt cunt, I'm passionate about the people that I like. And I'm passionate about the truth. So I am sorry if, I come off in a bad way, but I I will continue to stick up for Peter and I will continue to try to show you guys, you fans of this motherfucker, how he really is. I mean, can you explain any of these things away? Can you tell me why there was no date on this message? Can you tell me how that message has anything to do with being a pedophile since John was not a child? Even though we know it's not true, I got to keep saying that. I mean, how can you explain all of these things? What about him literally saying, and maybe I'll use it as my thumbnail, that he made over a thousand videos, which I'm sure that was an exaggeration, but even he didn't even make 10 videos on John. That is also another lie. So tell me why, if you still support John, why you support him and try to answer those questions for me because I would like to know if you have a good, reasonable explanation for this shit. I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it. I mean, I just I just don't know how anybody couldn't believe anything that he says. And so I hope this sort of clears up a few things like why I'm so passionate about it, why I get so mad about it and come off really aggressive um, and have a conversation down below. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if I'm, if I'm missing something on these messages or, you know, if you know why he wanted us to go to the authorities and he wasn't going to go to the authorities, why did he put this out to begin with? Because I'm having a little bit of a hard time believing any, anything that any, but all these excuses that people are coming up with are shot down in a second, you know? So if you support him, let me know why. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.